Thank you, Pastor. Guard against forgetting the Lord. Help me, Lord, to guard against forgetting you. That should be our for today, this day going out of 2017. Let's not forget as we go to the next final part of the service for this morning. I want to call him, but Enrique Weiss is coming. You can prepare to give your offering, but the one but Enrique to speak to us, and then I'll come back about the offering. Thank you, Sister Pastor Cameron. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I can see the glow in you. Are you, are you inspired? Are you inspired? Do you feel reinvigorated? I don't know about you, but I came in here empty and I'm going out full. And the good thing about it is that where else can you come and leave with such assurance that God is with you? This is Lighthouse and God is here. You have heard or pastor what an inspiration to us. What an inspiration to us. As the year comes to an end, and we, we reflect on all the challenges we face, it is always comforting to know that God is with us. Most importantly, God promised that he would leave us a comforter. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, do you know that we are in the midst of the comforter and the comforter speaks there's always I've always known that there is there's a lot of power in the tongue the tongue speak words words that bring about words that could lead to war words that could lead to inner peace and comfort and that's what I feel now but that is not possible and it couldn't be possible unless we had a comforter in the house with us. And I, I would like to propose, and I know that that comforter is our pastor. And if we know that, we know that for, I mean, I ask the question, do you feel inspired? I do. I'm leaving out with knowing, I've always known, that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. But as a teacher, repetition makes learning permanent. Every week, week after week, we are reminded all the challenges that we face and that we could face in the coming week. We are reminded that God is always with us by our pastor. And as he said, I was listening through and really appreciate the depth of his delivery. His God's goodness and mercy is manifested through the inspirational words of our pastor, which are, which are prepared, and he said it, nine hours, skillfully prepared to be delivered to us week after week. And not only on Sundays, also Wednesday. So I would like to propose at this time that we should make certain that we show or honor or appreciation for the work for the hard work for knowing that the comforter is with us and the comforter consistently feeds us this is a time of giving many years ago there was a gift that was given to us and that gift prevails up to this day the season is pretty much being manifested with that gift we would like to know that because we know that that gift is with us and that's a gift that can never be repaid but we want to show our appreciation for the shepherds of this house sister and pastor Cameron I know that a couple weeks ago we received this envelope and maybe you don't have it now, and if you don't, maybe we could seek one in the in the uh, in the office. But if you left it at home, 
don't worry. If you didn't bring it today, make sure that we bring it sometime in the near future. What we, this here is a show of our appreciation for our pastor. I just want to encourage each and every one of us to think about all the goodness and all of what our pastor shares with us each and every time he comes before us. What an inspiration. All the challenges that he's been through. Have you ever seen it reflected on him? No, you don't. All you see is God's shepherd leading us and encouraging us, making us strong, and reminding us that God is always with us. Again, my inspiration here is to say, let's show or honor the depth of our appreciation to our pastor and family. But when I say pastor, I should say pastors, the word pastors. Thank you so much. We look forward to moving into a wonderful year. And we're, we're going to listen to, hear from our shepherd what would be that challenge that he has for us this year. And I know that it's going to be summarized in the few words that we have had over for the past, what, nine years now? Ten. I mean, go, yes, going into ten. Thank you so much. Again, I appreciate you. Deep, dig deep down in your soul. And just show your appreciation for, for leadership. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Enrique. I mean, it took a little time to get that out. <laughs> I want to thank God for our pastor indeed and, and again guard against forgetting the Lord. I <clears throat> I look at him over the years. Now he's my husband, he's my pastor, he's your pastor, he's my pastor to my husband. So I have a little bit more privilege. Don't forget if you want to swipe whatever you want to give, swipe. The swiper is right. Petrina, she has a swiper. And um he uh this gentleman has been to me and for me and for the society regardless who want to say was an honest person when we went to do the upgrade from the q to the m in the infinity because he likes it infinity mark i'm calling you just to get your testimony ready and i sat there at the at the dealership with him because adele took him the father and daughter they like things going in a certain way the dealership would say Pastor, don't get a new car. Use one of his lease because of the, the high-end car, whatever they would say to him. I sat there and faced and I'm listening to what he had to say. So they said to him, Pastor, but well, you have to find close to about $3,000 to drive out here with his infinity today because he's upgrading. Then I said, well, I know where the shoe pinching in the house, huh? So I said to the, um, the guys, the guy, he'd been servicing the other infinity there for how many years? Since 2009. I said, did he ever say to you that he's a pastor? They said, no, you're a pastor? And that's where the story started. And I said to them, this pastor, don't fleece the sheep. He's not a wolf in sheep's clothing. He's a man of God who works hard. Go back with that figure. Go back to your on the writers and come back with something better and more discount on this this um m mx whatever you call it this infinity the high end the bigger car because we needed something better to you know bigger and more spacious because we're not small people anymore we need a little more space when they came back to him the surpasser we did some more deductions we took out a few more um, dollars and you're driving out of here with this car today and no down payment yes erica no down payment you know what when you're a child of god and because pastor don't like to sung his bell so his wife was going to sing his bell for him and so um i sung the bell and i said this wife she doesn't take a salary from the church he's the only one paid and the salary he started with in 2008 is still still the same salary 2017 I said, not because of the church fault, is that we decided we're going to make the ultimate sacrifice so that this can be a reality and more can happen here for our church. So I said, all of this to say this, you have a good pastor, a man of God who don't fleece the sheep. He's not a wolf in sheep clothing, and he stands here. He's an example to you. 
unto me because we are married for now 36 years. This is 37 years. And I would have let you know if he wasn't doing it right. Well, y'all know me by now, right? But this man of God has stood the test of time. And I love him and I appreciate him for being my husband, for being the good father and the good pastor. And so I want to thank you, Brother Enrique. The board is adamant. This year, your giving wasn't as good. I don't know what happened. I don't think they stressed us a lot on the board, but um, they said that they have to, the, the, their finance department was giving us update on how things are coming with the giving to your pastor. So don't feel it hard in your heart to give to him. It's a blessing when you give to the man of God. He comes here. We do everything that God asks us to do, Sister Winter. Everything without complaining. And we want to bless God. So thank you for your giving. Have you given already? You've given already. Okay. You've given your offering already? Okay, good. So just want to call up. Come, Mark. Come quickly. And do we have any birthdays or anniversary? We want to send you out here so that you can come back tonight. Do we have any birthdays or anniversary today? Heather Anderson. But the kid, where you did with Heather? Where you leave her? All right, good. We can deal with her next week. This young man, y'all remember him? He came when we were at school, Brother Eddie Neblet. You remember, right? Eddie Neblet, right? He played for Brother Eddie, and they're, they're here. They're doing some stuff at Ebenezer this evening on their um, uh, watch night service. But he said he couldn't come without, and he came in as a surprise to me. But Mark, we love you. Jamaican parent and Trinidadian, right? Mother is Jamaican. Mother is Jamaican and father is Trinidadian. <laughs> the mix up thing. He lives in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, Lighthouse. Um, like Pastor said, I couldn't come down to Maryland and not pop in here because Pastor is, is one of my favorite people. I don't get to see her often, but we connect on social media, Facebook and Instagram. And, you know, we talk basketball every now and then and so on and so forth. Um, I'm not going to give you guys my testimony, but I've never told you this before. Um, I am a DJ. I started DJing for Eddie Neblet, some of you guys know. Um, but Lighthouse is very important to me. And the reason why, which I've never told you before, is that before I was DJing for Eddie, I was DJing for all these rappers and so on and so forth out there in the world. But the first place that I got to DJ for Eddie was a concert for you guys for Lighthouse and I really believe that that was my opportunity to to do the work that I'm doing now um that concert you guys had so many years ago if you guys never had that concert my friend Adrian would have never came to me with Eddie Neblet and said Mark I need you to do such and such and I've always had and always held Lighthouse close for that being my first opportunity to, to be a gospel DJ. So I thank God for you guys. I am connected to you guys in more ways than you know. And I love you guys. I love you here as well. If I lived here, I'd be fellowshipping with you every day like I am this morning. So God bless you guys. Happy New Year. Thank you, Brother Mark. Bless you. Bless you. These are all my sons. Yeah, y'all don't get jealous. We do a lot of the social media, so just in case we don't get to talk mainly every day, but social media says a lot. So I want to remind you that tonight's service, don't forget, it's 9.30. We start at 9 o'clock. We start at 9. I don't know why we pass us at 9.30. We start at 9 o'clock tonight. That is what I know, 9 o'clock. So if you come late, you're going to miss the worship because we don't we want to pass the one to stop at, at 12 o'clock so you can be back in your homes. And happy... New Year's Eve to everyone. Happy New Year's Eve to everyone. Let, and those of us, those of you watching us on the live stream, I want to say God bless you. Thanks for being with us through the course of the year. And don't stop. Continue with us in the new year, 2018, where more things are going to happen for the Lord, bigger and better. The best is yet to come, and we want to bless God. Otherwise, we're thinking about all these things. Let's remember that... <laughs> Christ may put in his appearance. Where will you spend eternity? That's my question to all of us here. Where will you spend eternity? Do we have any visitors here for the first time? Stand up, see you. Yay. Welcome. Anybody else? We have one on each side. Keep standing. We want to make give you a nice lighthouse. Welcome. God bless you. Who invited you? 
Oh, Lorraine, Lorraine did lots of work. And um and my family here who invited you. Oh, we're not inviting you, inviting your brother. You're Guyanese? Good, welcome. I, I heard the accent, so I know it's Guyanese. God bless you. Come, let somebody kind of take this microphone over. Yeah, we need to be, be recording, so we have to hear it through the system. One moment. Good morning, church. Um, Wendy invited me to church this morning. That's my schoolmate. And um, I think it was... Wendy, thanks for inviting me. <laughs> Pastor, thanks for the song. Um, when when you said, when the song said, oh, oh, I think it is to hold a newborn baby. Mm, because he lives. Yeah, because he lives. I've lost my baby, my last child. It really hurt me, but then I remember because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Amen. So I thank God that because he lives, I can face tomorrow. And, you know, it's a blessing to be in the house of the Lord at this last day, this last Sunday. And it's a blessing to have my brother with me, my baby brother. Thank you. Thank you. Yahweh is faithful. Amen. Somebody take the microphone, but the car come to the front because we don't need it the back, we need it the front. You know we're running into one o'clock, but come just over one. Come by the car. This gentleman here, he had a birthday, but the kid we want him at the front because we don't want to turn people strain the eyes to see the back. But the car they gotta come quickly because this is your moment. Put his put his um, name up there, Cleon. I admire this man, this gentleman here. Yes. Thank you. Good man of God. Go ahead, Brother Card. Yeah, this is Buzz's birthday, so you're going to tell us something. <laughs> yes, give thanks. The greetings to each and everyone. I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, Lady Cameron's favorite is to put people on a stand. <laughs> And you know, we Jamaicans don't love that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, if it's a stand for the Lord, we'll stand, you know. Amen. Yeah, I give thanks. It was my birthday, December the 29th. And I give thanks that the good Lord has spared me from all type of things, which some things we don't even know the things he spared us mm -hmm. from. I give thanks... Um, for him in the name of Jesus Christ. I give thanks for my beloved wife who oh, yeah. Yeah. has been there. And um, as I always quote when I come here, the goodness of the Lord leads to repentance. Amen. I give thanks for Pastor Cameron and for the living example you have set of our yeah. family. And he has his family with him, around him. It is always the mark of a good leader to have his family with him is shown that he has sown seeds which have borne fruit. So I give thanks. I give thanks for Lighthouse and all the good people. I see, I know Pastor Cameron, your men may look few, but it's better to have few good men than a whole heap of men that are not reliable. And women, sorry. Sorry, sorry and women, sorry. Um, and I give thanks that I've been invited to come and fellowship with you. I've always come to do that. And um, so I give thanks. And um, there's something else that came across my thought. Oh, and for Pastor, don't look at the numbers, as you know, because um, although the numbers are important to sustain a church, building facilities, but I pray that God, with, as he did with, it was Elijah, if he opens your eyes, you will see thousands of angels who are present here today. But we are limited by our physical vision. So no, a host of angels are here shouting Hosanna. Give thanks. Give thank you, Brother Carl. Anybody else had a birthday in the last week? Yeah. Or we have to wait on the new week? You know what I found out? I watched his wife and his daughter and this smile as he was speaking. Zanabi, you enjoy your father. 
God is a good God. So we just want to stand as we um, leave today and be back early. We start at 9 o'clock since the header. I saw the text when I was coming out, so I couldn't even respond. But I'm glad to see you in church. So we start at 9 tonight, not 10. 9. So, see, let's try to be back because if we had a party going, we would have been at the party at this, you know, at this old year's night stuff. So let's come back to the house of God and start the, the, the new year, you know, in his house. So those of you on the live stream, we thank you for viewing as well. And we're going to say this prayer as we go out in the last day in 2017. May the grace of our Lord, Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Ghost rest, remain, and abide with us until we meet this evening in the precious name of Jesus. God bless you. Bless you. Juanita, Jehovah, you're my banner. They're ready to pray. Can the worshipers, those who are worshiping tonight, could you stay? We want to do some practice around here tonight. So go ahead, Juanita, sing that song for us. Jehovah. Hi, Denisha. Thank you. Thank you.